Hey everybody, welcome to Tuesday. This is my 79 day of my 90 day Facebook Live Challenge. My name is Dion Woods and I'm the owner of TurquoiseIris.com. Um, it's a place where I go and I sell my hand painted furniture, art. Um, I also teach online classes so you can stay right at home. Um, I teach in-person classes and my next one coming up is February 16th where I will have a guest painter come. Uh, it'll be a Nissa Moriarty, no, Moriarty, excuse me, of Niss and that and she'll be joining us February 16th. So hi Danae. Um, like I said, this is a place where I hang out. I've been here every single day and for the last five, I've been working on this little transformation here and we're about to seal the deal, wrap it up. Um, so I wanted to have you guys be able to join me for a um, little waxing party. Can we call it a waxing party? Because anytime we paint, it should be a party. Um, actually, it's warm in here. The sun's coming in, and it's just the perfect time for me to pop on here with you guys. So thanks for being here. Hi, J-Po. Um, last night, I applied this stencil. I know some people thought it was paper because I do apply paper a lot. But this was um, a stencil that I applied to these insets over the mermaid tail. Actually, this is a combination of mermaid tail and um, mint chip. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. I feel like it has a real um, Mediterranean vibe going on. And um, then this is a copper finish that I created on all of the pieces of hardware. Um, and so we've got some navy, we've got various shades. There's even some green in here. Um, there's some yellow that's pulling from beneath because this piece was painted by me prior to um, doing this piece because I actually just got tired of it and decided I was going to paint over it. So some of the gray and some of the yellow that was originally on here is pulling out underneath it, which I adore. Um, so right now we have such a rustic piece. There's various shades, like right here between this little section right here between my fingers, you can see about eight different pieces. Um, but today, in honor of the fact that we are having a sell on our little seed brushes, um, this particular brush is 20% off today with Paint Pixie. Um, Josie, I'm getting that right, right? Hi, Josie, there she is. Um, I'm getting this right, but this brush today is Little C is 20% off. Um, and I actually remembered to grab my affiliate link. I've got it, Josie, I'm on it today. I just went and blew out the rest of my Christmas shopping with Matt, and um, I'm on it. It's warm, it's cozy. Rebecca, you missed last night. Sister, I did the stencil, what do you think? Um, but yeah, this one right here is 20% off today only. So if you're looking for a stocking stuffer, if you have been asked by mama, by sister, um, by your kids, what do I want for Christmas? You tell them you want some little C, right here. Um, and I'm going to use this brush today and I'm going to grab my dark wax from DIY. If you're not familiar with DIY, um, oh good Rebecca, I'm glad that you caught it. I, I was looking for you last night. Um, this um, number one ingredient is love, but then you have bee, beeswax. Um, gosh guys, it just goes on like butter. It's smooth and easy. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this. I do recommend sometimes if you're new to wax that you apply a clear coat first that way if you get um, it is a folk art looking thing Rebecca um, that way if you get too much of your dark wax you can kind of wipe it back but um, I've been waxing for several years <laughs> that sounds funny <laughs> been waxing um, I've been applying wax to my furniture makeovers for several years and so I feel like it's not gonna bother me if I get it a little too bit too heavy in a few areas so um, oh I love using black. Hi, Q. Welcome, sister. So I just have my paper towels folded up here, double aired, and I've got it right down here in front of me. And what I'll end up doing is I'll dot it in my wax, and then I'll dot it right down here on my on my paper towel so I don't get too much. That's kind of how I control it a little bit. So I'm going to do this section here for you guys, and then we'll compare it. And I'll probably come in and do some clear as well. And But I definitely want to... Um, hi Joan I definitely want to add a little dark distressing okay so here goes everybody cross your fingers that we don't do too much um, and can I just say how much I'm using this baby Abigail thank you I carry this around with me everywhere and I like hold everything on it 
Like it keeps everything off of the floor and I'm loving it. Um, all right, so again, Lil C right here, 20% off. Grab that as a gift, or get one for yourself. My goodness, I like to have a different brush for uh, my dark. I, I will use this for black and brown, but and then I have a clear and then I have a white. Um, I have another little C over there with my white and then um, this is my clear one. So, hi, that's a great looking brush. Oh my gosh, look at it. Isn't it divine? Divine, can a brush be divine? This is the little C and, or do you mean this one? This is the bigger one. Um, this is, see, for the 12 days of leading up to Christmas, we're having a flash sale. So every single day is a new brush. So if you'll hang on to that affiliate link that I posted every single day, it, it can be divine. Okay, cool. Um, we're having a sale at every single day, 20% off. So if you wanted one of each, tune in every day, use that link and get all the brushes 20% off like that. Just like that. All right, let's wax. Let's do this. We are actually going to be, um, I'm going to be recording here in a few minutes for a little Miss Iris. We're about to, about to, uh, we're hoping to get our episode uploaded Saturday morning, our first episode. So you guys stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to be posting another clip. Um, but yeah, you can go to the Paint Pixie Facebook website, like the Facebook page and see which, which, um, brushes are available and which, which day is for sale. Um, but I just know, actually I looked out, I was going to use this anyway, and I ran on there to see which one was available and I went, what are the odds? I have been buying a brush a day. Rebecca, you're the smartest. You're so smart and clever. Okay, so I know I want some shadowing. Um, and so I've got, I do have a rag handy as well in case I get a little bit too much. I just have a, a cotton cloth. I actually tried to make a business t-shirt. It came out like junk. So we're gonna use that. Okay, a lot. And I'm not going to do too much over here because I don't want to cover up my hardware. Um, so I'm going to just, I'm just going to start going in. I'm like a little bit leery, but I want to soften this so it's not quite as bright. So I'm just going to go over it a little bit. We want this to look, you guys, like it has been a hundred years old. That's my goal is that this is a hundred years old looking. So I am just going over the brown and I'm not worried that that looks a little heavy right now because it's honestly, it's wet and it will dry a little bit lighter than that. It's not going to be even either. Like nothing out over time wears 100% the same everywhere. So we're not going to worry about getting it just right either. But we're going to subdue this just a little bit, take away some of the brightness from the cowgirl coral. Then I'm going to take my cloth. I'm gonna go over this just a little bit. What it's doing is I'm rubbing it down in the grooves even more so, and it's providing a whole lot of texture that you can't see from the camera, but I promise it's here. And underneath this piece, like I said, this piece was already painted a different color, um, and it's pulling up through here, this gray blue color. So what we're doing is we're basically just antiquing it a little bit so nothing looks bright and shiny and brand new. I mean, you can already see the difference in that side and that side, right? So it doesn't just like scream at you. It'll dry a little bit lighter because it's wet, but I'm not even gonna apply any more to my brush. I just wanna keep going around like this Not gonna apply anymore. I'm basically just cleaning my brush. I, what I love about this is the short handle. It's so easy. It's brown. Yes, it's our dark brown from DIY. It's so easy to hold. If you wanted to hold it like this, or if you wanted to hold it like this, whatever feels most comfortable. Um, and I like these. I trust me. I have three or four of these. Um, it's just I have to have both. Um, since I have been using Paint Pixie and selling Paint Pixie, I've be kind of kind of become a, a brush connoisseur, and I have a whole wall of different brushes. I have all of the brushes actually, and I have a pit, you know, like 
you know, I should just show you. I should show you. Um, but I have everything over there organized. And then I have another section for my palette knives of different sizes. My putty knife has its own hook. Um, my brayer from IOD is over there. My roller from Artistic Painting Studios. All my tools are over there. All right, so I'm gonna have this area be darker because it's one of those areas that our hands naturally are gonna go and gravitate um, like this. Like we may pull this open, open, right? And so the oils from our hand over time are gonna darken this area here. So I want it to look very natural. So I'm not gonna do this section with the dark, but I'm gonna do it down again at the bottom as if shoes or um, something got down there. So I'll go down this way and I'll put a little bit more my brush thank you for sharing that whoever just did that okay so look I'm not putting very much you can't even see that I don't have the light on I don't know if we need it or not I'm not putting very much on here but I'm gonna still tap it and then I'm gonna do this very bottom section right here just kind of the way that I did that and guys we're about to buff we're going to get out buff and you guys are gonna love Buff. If you don't know who Buff is, you're getting ready to meet Buff in a minute. Okay. So this piece was originally gray, yellow, and it had a little bit of navy. And this yellow down here on the bottom is coming through. God, it looks so good. Little bit it's not going to be even and the rest of it I'm going to end up be doing the whole piece with clear any extra and so that yellow from the original finish is coming through here with a little of the navy I will I will move the camera and show you when it gets um, when I get finished I'm just going to clean my brush. I'm not going to re-dip re or anything, but I'm just going to clean my brush off with some of this down here, and then we'll go back over it. All of these products are DIY. That's pretty. That's just all that I use exclusively. Um, yesterday, if you missed it, I announced that I'm doing an art class, an online art class, and. Um, Tickets are available for that, and I'm also going to do an in-person class with Anissa Nat from, um, well, no, Anissa Moriarty from Anissa Nat. We've sold, gosh, we've sold six or seven tickets already for that class, sold last night, so I'm excited for that. God, I love the way this looks. Y'all ready to come in closer? Let's do it. That sounds like a great thing to be doing, helping your customers, you bet. So you can see here where I added a little wax, there's a little bit of shading. So this is the panel that has a little bit of dark on it. And these other two, I haven't touched yet. I know you can't go to that class, I'm so sorry. That stinking Amanda had to go and take a vacation. I'm totally teasing, I know she deserves it. So see how this yellow's coming through? This was from the original finish. And I, I just, well, I just, I just love it. See, there's some blue. Gosh, do you have to apply a lot of pressure when rubbing wax off? You don't have to even rub it off at all. You don't have to rub it off at all. Nope, you don't. All right, so let's go over here to this side. Actually, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Okay, if you're just popping on here, I have the little C. It's 20% off. Um, Rebecca, I know. I send it to my mom because she goes to Mexico twice, two or three times a year. I have like a timeshare there. And it's her, it's just, she loves it. Um, so I sent it to her last night with... Oh my gosh, she's gonna want this. She goes, oh, I love that. It's 
so pretty. I was like, she's gonna want this in her dining room. So she, she's gonna wanna give me the old one that I did, this one. When did you put this stencils on? I did that last night in a video. You can go back and watch last night's jam. Yeah, here's the stencil. And gosh, don't be mad at me. I can't help you with, like in last night's video, I posted, Olga, actually Heather Watson posted the um, the person that gave me these, that, she, that handed them to me. She's actually from Mexico, but I don't know if she'll ship or not. I don't know, but you can private message her. But you'll have to watch last night's video. Okay, so we're gonna, see, I applied it darker here, and I went it, so now what I'm gonna do is, oh, come on, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm gonna apply down here this time and go up with it. Basically taking off some of the brightness out of these uh, cowgirl coral flowers. I also used Summer Crush on them, okay? Summer Crushes are orange. Yes, yes. So I'm not covering it real thoroughly because it's not important to me because I'll end up going over where I don't have dark, I'll end up going over it with clear just to seal it all. If you wanted to, frankly, you really don't have to because you want it to wear naturally. And over time, if you're the buyer, it's gonna wear naturally and you'll probably love it more the longer you have it. This is one of those pieces, the longer you have, the more you're gonna love it, the longer you have it. Okay, now I'm gonna take my rag. It's a big, scary. When I'm putting this wax over, it's making all of that paint really textured. I'm going to show you. So while this area is drying, I'm going to work on this. And then I'm gonna grab Buff, which is another, um, which is our large buffing brush from Paint Pixie. And I'm gonna show you, um, see if you can see the reflection. I don't know if you can or not, it just depends, but I'm gonna show you what I'll do when I buff it. Okay. So let's do this drawer up here. I don't want a whole lot of dark, so I'm not going to add any more to my brush. I'm just going to basically clean it off. The top of this is Dark and Decrepit, which is our um, dark brown liquid patina. But as soon as I get this done, you guys, we will be done, and I will stage it tomorrow and have it available on my website. And I have a fun surprise for staging. I'm excited. I've got an idea for staging this baby. I can't wait to show it to you guys. I can't wait to photograph. I get so excited about photographing pieces. I know that Q's that way too. Like it's just so exciting when I put the piece together and start picking art and uh, doing all of that with it. I love it. Okay, see I didn't need any more wax on this brush. I just used what was on it. All right, so I'm going to, if you're just popping on, this is a little C, 20% off. All right, you guys hang tight. Hi, Tanya. I'm gonna grab, you're keeping it right. No, I decided to sell it. It's totally available. Okay. If you haven't seen this brush, you're gonna die. You're going to, I don't know why I'm talking like that, so sorry. Hi, Chanda. All right, let's put these in. I just realized I was supposed to put these in a long time ago. Usually the audio is a little bit better. Okay. All right, so since we put the dark wax liberally, not liberally. Mm. Oh, we just sold a ticket to the party. 
another ticket sold. You guys, y'all are gonna have the best time. Um, from here to here and up here, it has the dark wax. Now it's not even, I don't want it even. It's a little bit splotchy because it's still wet up here. But this, I mean, this is just, this is just ready to go. Meet Buff and his little lady friend, Buffy. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But since they're called that, I feel like I can get away with that. Um, so I'm just gonna grab this one, kind of my go-to. And it literally takes all of the buffing, like, it just makes my life easier. Like, come on. I'm just gonna rub over this. And you can see the shine start picking up. And you start to see all of the grooves and all of the grain of the wood start pulling through. And I will, of course, let you guys see closer in just a moment. It just makes my job so much easier. This brush is pretty pricey, but it's, again, one of those things that would either make a nice gift or gift for yourself, or just get one and know that you won't need another one. I forget you can buff DIY wax when it's wet. You know what, you can, and it's gonna pull some of it back off a little bit. Normally, you would say wait 24 hours, but I'm not gonna do that section up there. And I get so excited that I'm a little impatient. So Josie's probably laughing at me because I'm already using this. Because I get, I'm so excited. Like, I get excited about a lot of my pieces, especially the ones I've been working on lately. Um, you didn't know about these brushes, Chandra? What's happening? Right? It looks like a shoe brush, right? But no, um, look, that was already there. But just, like, the, the, it's, it's completely dry. You just ordered the little C. Rebecca, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, these are softer because... Well, I don't know, but they are just so soft. Um, this one, Buffy, is really great for doing the edges. And I thought everyone knew about Buff, right? He's got a reputation. Um, in here, like in these grooves, and around the edges, and underneath, and on these kind of edges, she's perfect for that. So if you guys want to, we can continue Hi, Jasmine, we can continue to buff, or if you're tired of me, I don't wanna take up any more of your time. So, either way, I have to go ahead and work on this. Um, I'm gonna start filming for, um, Josie, that's a question for you, sister. I'm gonna start filming for um, Little Miss Iris. We're hoping to get our first episode out on a Saturday morning, and we've still got some more filming to do. So I'm hoping to do that here in a few moments. Okay, so we've done this section. We're gonna do this section. Is the buff brush on discount? That's another question for Josie. I know I'm guessing yes, but I don't know for sure. I She may almost be sold out of it. Okay, remember, I don't wanna to get too much, so I'm tapped and she knows the dates and I do not. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a circle and move really quickly, like this in a circle, so I don't take, oh, it was the first one, so Rebecca, it was already on sale. Looks like this actually. 
That might be a little too much print. I don't really have a place for her now that she's all dutied up like this. So that's why I'm like, no, I'm gonna sell her. I mean, I'm gonna attempt to sell her if someone wants her. So I'm gonna do dark wax here. Really pulls a lot of texture around here. This is the Lil C, 20% off today. If you use that link right there, it's my affiliate link. So you'll get your 20% off if you use that. Beautiful, Dion. Is the first inset on the panel to your left already waxed? It looks lighter. This one is not waxed. This is the next one we're moving to. I did this one first and this one. And now I'm doing this. I'm gonna do this one. And since y'all are still here, I'm gonna keep working. I thought you might be bored with me for a while. Rebecca, it's for sale, sister. Use code LIL, L -I -L -C for the discount. So when you click on my link there, that's my affiliate link, put in the discount code, like where it says promo or discount code, type in all caps, L-I-L-C, Lil C. Got you. All right, I'm gonna let that go because I love the way that looks. Actually, let me do this up here while I'm sitting here. Hi, Miss Laura. Let me do this right here while I'm. Tell you what, it's finals week around here for kiddos, and um, Thursday and Friday they have tests, and I'm not gonna lie, they have a couple of grades that are kind of making me like this. Come on guys, come on. And I just want it over with. I don't think I got that nervous when I was in school as I do when they, as I have now that they're in school. And it keeps popping in my head. Like since I've been talking, it's I've thought about school four times. Their school and what they need to do tonight. Like that's crazy town. Hi Abigail, thank you. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. I love it so much. So let's scoot back to this last section. And then I promise you don't have to watch me any longer. You did a live yesterday, ended up being an hour and a half. You are the bomb. That just aged me a little bit, didn't it? You the bomb, lady. I bet you were so tired. Like, I bet you needed some hot tea and some echinacea after that. Because that's hard to talk that long by yourself. Um, like, when Q and I do Friday Night Live, we bounce off each other so we get... Um, we get a break. Actually, Hilda, this is a traditional um, Mexi from Mexico. It's a traditional print from Mexico. Um, and it's called Otomi. It's O-T-O-M-I, and I'm positive I said it wrong. Positive, but please forgive me. I'm not doing that on purpose. Turn that heater off because I'm starting to sweat. We'll do this last section. Scraping it off the sides, scraping it, and then I'm going to blot it. Live with a buddy is so much better. It is. It's so much easier. So kudos to Josie, who did that for an hour and a half yesterday. Um, okay, so we're going to work on this first. I'm going to go in like this quickly. brightness and we're going to grab a rag come right back over it pull that top layer off and it's going to let that texture of these flowers because I 
When I did my stencil last night, I was using the flat top brushes from Paint Pixie, and it worked perfect for stenciling. Oh my gosh, I love the way it all comes together. So I'm gonna frame out the edges a little bit. See, I'm just kind of doing it at an angle like this. I'm just kind of grabbing it on the sides. Instead of adding more to my brush, I'm just going to basically clean it, get all the extra off, and wax this drawer. So you really, I mean, I literally dipped my brush one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times. These little jars go a long way. Now I will end up opening these cabinets and getting inside of here. You know what I mean? All around those edges. So I will do that, but that's pretty boring on a live. And then I'd have to move and switch sides and all the things. So, okay. I'm going to rub this back. I'll have this baby staged tomorrow. I'll probably finish buffing it tonight before I go to bed and then bring it inside and get it staged. Someone said I should put on my, one of my little Mexican tops, embroidered tops that I love so much and stage myself with it. <laughs> okay. What is that noise? I hear Christmas music. Oh, I hear Christmas music. Oh my goodness. So inside, solid wood, has a shelf bottom. That's all there is to it. And it's got three drawers, obviously. So it does have a shelf here that's braced, solid wood, inch thick. And it's available. Message me. Iris is calling you. Oh my goodness. No, there was Christmas music. Really? I was like, and then I realized, I think what happened is the door is open and, um, Nobody's here with me, but I think they left the door open and so the TV's on and I think I'm somebody was watching a movie. Did you hear it too, Tanya? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not used to the door. You wanna see Iris? Oh, all right. We're getting ready to film, so I guess we can go ahead and grab her. She's, she's pretty close by. So yes, she's she's good to go right here. now is her new apron that she insisted on having like she just was confident that she wasn't as clean of a painter as me and so she was like I'm sorry okay just one second so she was just she has a problem with mocking me and I'm I really didn't want her to be sassy but she keeps Yeah, this is Iris. This is Iris. So, um, we are filming, honey, your hair. You, you should have checked your hair before you put on. <laughs> so, um, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, this is part six, and oh, good, now we have Abby. Okay, now, okay. Oh, no, no, no tongue kisses. Oh, my God. Oh, what are you think you're doing? We're on camera, baby. Where did you come from? Oh my gosh. She's, I'm, it's because I'm on the floor. Yes, so she's so sassy. 
Okay, you cool it while I'm talking. No, don't act like you're in trouble either, right? Abby's jealous. Um, I don't know where she came from. I didn't even, there was no, no even Abby, no, oh, please, give me a break. She is totally, she wants to eat her. She wants to eat her. All right, so we're gonna go. I'm going to stage this tomorrow. Um, I have talked to me Tuesday, today in my group. Okay, we're not going just yet. Give, just give it a second and no mocking. So, okay, all right, yeah, cover your mouth. You guys, thanks for being here. I will see you back tomorrow, and we will, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday, so I think we'll be back in the evening. So, everybody have a great night. We'll see you then. Oh, you blowing kisses? Awesome. And Abby, you give Bowie's you give you kitty. Can you give her kitty? Can you give her, she won't even look at her. No, you won't even look at her. Can you look at her? She wants to get, oh, okay, don't stick your nose in her mouth. That's disgusting.